What's going on guys? In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys a handful of sites to grab those textures for architectural visualization. Right, so jumping into our textures. Right, so this one here is called textures.com. Um, it was formerly CG Textures. Um, a lot of people know about this one, um, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on it. Um, I'll just click, quickly go into how it works, right? So uh, you can have a free account, which you need to sign up for. You have 15 free credits each day, so I believe that means that you can download uh, 15, 15 images um, but unless they've changed it. So this is a really, really good resource. Um, so you got small or medium ones there. And I'll just give you guys an idea of the kind of um, textures you can download. So let's go into, for us, let's have a look at the concrete. Uh, so you can see here that they have a fair number. So you've got 263 in this folder, 114 in the floors, 134. Um, so they have a fair number of um, different textures here so it's a it's a very large resource um, you can obviously click on it and it, this one here is a seamless texture um, you can see down here it says seamless and it says here um, one credit for the free one premium only um, and whatnot um, you can obviously download the non seamless versions um, you know like these ones over here and do stuff with Photoshop in them. I might do a tutorial on that um, later on. But you can throw them in Photoshop and create a seamless texture from a non-seamless. But anyway, um, let's jump onto our next one. So that was um, textures.com, um, great little resource. And I'll leave all the links down in the description. So this is L plus T, free texture stocks. Um, so this is another great one. Uh, I'm just starting off with kind of the more professional kind of ones and then we'll move into a few of the um, lower grade. So this is Timber, another great, great resource here. Um, so if we kind of click on, let's go have a look at this Timber. This one doesn't have quite as many as um, CG or textures.com. And you obviously, it's a donation kind of system. Please donate what you can. Um, and I can obviously add that to downloads. And it should download it for me. Um, I might have to log in for that. Let's see. Ah, oh, there we go. So we have to purchase it for zero dollars first up. And obviously enter our email, first name, last name. Um, you know, so obviously if we were logged into this, um, we probably wouldn't have to do that. It'd load up automatically. Right, so it's not too bad, guys. Um, I prefer CG textures over this one, but you can't deny it's a pretty easy um, interface to kind of go through and have a look through to find your textures. And obviously, they got like 14 pages here of grunge. Um, if I go back, I'm not too sure how many they have of concrete. And all right, so four, four textures of concrete, but they have some really cool ones here with cracks and whatnot. Um, jumping into our next one, we've got web treats here. Um, I'm not fussed on the overall look of this, but if you can get past the ugly bloody colors, um, we've got free tileable leather patterns, grunge textures, um, this woods here. I've never really come across these until today, so I thought I'd download a quick, uh, quick look at it. And if we jump into Photoshop, this is one of the textures, so if we go into canvas size, you can see that they're pretty big. So if we look at pixel sizes here, you've got 1400 by 1000 pixels there. So they're a decent quality um, image and you can turn off that gradient overlay and that's what the actual um, image there looks like. Um, so that's the great thing about these as well, is that they do come down into a PSD format. Um, if I open up my finder, um, and I will pull this across. So this is the download of, I think I grabbed this timber, dark timber structures. Um, and they actually give you all these PSD ones. Um, so that's kind of cool, all different kind of textures and layouts and whatnot. 
Um, so I'm definitely going to explore those a little bit further because they do really seem like a great resource. Um, you know, and I love these grayscale. Oh, mouse is dead. There we go. Grayscale natural grunge textures. Um, I find a lot of the previous grungy textures kind of are a little bit dodgy. Um, but these actually look like some actual decent ones we can use for architectural visualizations. Um, and again, they're pretty easy to download. You can just download uh, the complete zip down below. So down in here, if you zoom or scroll down a little bit lower, you've got download down in here when you click that. All right, moving on to our next one is Texture King. So again, free stock um, textures. Um, and they have a, a wide variety. You've got all textures, concrete grunge. I am going to have a look at the wood texture. Um, let's kind of have a look at this one. And very, very simple. We can just kind of download it. And then we can right click and save to downloads or do it the PC way. Um, but very, very simple. And they seem pretty high quality as well there guys. So next one over is free stock textures. But down in here we've got obviously different kind of um, categories. So let's jump into the metal one here. And you know, we can scroll through. They've got all rusty ones. Uh, let's have a look at some cord and steel. Right, and we've got that and obviously we can hit download. And no need to log in guys. It'll just come straight up. Right, so that's absolutely great. But anyway, moving on, let's have a look at LU Jehe Textures. Don't ask me how to pronounce that. Um, so these guys, oh, there's your cord and steel arm texture from before. So another, we have a look at the, not the color. We have a look at the size of that. Right, that's the pixels, 3, 4, 2.3 um, resolution. So they're pretty high quality textures there. Um, so that, that texture there was obviously from freestocktextures.com. Um, but yeah, this one is another. So these are going into our kind of mediocre ones. So they might have a lot, but they might not be as good quality. Um, so it's not too bad. I definitely like kind of these earthy kind of looking ones. Um, if we have a look, I don't believe you need to sign in for these. I think it's pretty simple. We can just right click or download large here. And if we click on their terms of use, each um, image has a terms of use underneath it. Um, so definition of free, so it can be used for personal use. So you don't really want to use this for commercial projects. Um, but yeah, right. righto, moving on, we've got texturemate.com. Um, another great kind of resource. Down here on the left hand side, we've got all our categories. Let's have a look at glass. I don't think we've looked at any glass yet. Um, Right, so it's a little bit on, I wouldn't say on the dodgy side, but it's not quite as high quality as the other ones we've just currently looked at. Um, but obviously it'll depend, you, you might have to do a little bit of searching. Right, so I'm just clicking on some concrete right now, and we can obviously right click and save image to downloads, or I think that's it. Oh, here we go, download high, high resolution free, free texture there. Um, it's been a little while since I've been into these kind of um, websites because I try and download them um, as much as I can. The next one up here is Plain Textures. Another kind of good resource. So they seem to have a high quality. Um, so you got 95 gravel there, brick 741, carpets uh, 340, fences, timber 700, windows. So these are going to be great when you want to be creating composite images where you grab a whole heap of images and kind of stack them up together. Um, and this one has brushes as well. Um, these ones have got really awesome kind of brushing settings and you can kind of hover over them and get a better feel for what they do. Um, they've also got over here on the left hand side categories of the different brushes, right, which is really, really cool. Moving on from plain textures, we have Texture Pilot. I'm not going to spend a lot of time um, on these, but obviously you got the same old, same old. This one has a large, like really large um, library of textures. However, the quality of them isn't that great. Um, they're not going to be as cut and dry as the the rest of them, and you might have to might have to do some work with them um, in order to make them work for your architectural visualizations. It just seems like a library of random photos that you'll have to deal with. 
Um, next one up is Mayang's Free Textures. Um, so they've got about 5,000 there um, to download. You guys can go through this as well. Um, but yeah. Please do not try to download every texture on our server. We'll automatically block you. Download limit is 20 textures every day, right? So just keep an eye on that. Um, I can understand. You can buy every texture on the website for only $33 if you really want to spend the money. Um, but I don't know, grab a couple mates together and, and download some each each day. Now these next three are from DeviantArt. Um, these are just groups that you can kind of subscribe to and they've just a community of people that will upload different textures for you. So you got Seamless Textures Group, um, Texturize, um, and these have all got a variety of different things. And the last one is Texture Central. So guys, I think there is what, like 10, 10 different kind of websites that you guys can go onto there um, to download, download different textures. Uh, I definitely would kind of stay in these top three. So textures.com, um, L plus T and web treats, um, et cetera. Um, in, my, in my opinion, they're probably gonna be the best bet. However, if you're going to wanna go exploring, definitely check out all the others, um, especially Texture King um, and these free stock textures as well. But anyway, guys, I will leave a link down in the description down below. So definitely check these out in your own time and start downloading them because they're definitely going to help you through your architectural studies um, and your visualizations. So until next time, guys, have an awesome week.